Welcome back to On Base Live in your Bleach Report app. I am your host, Mookie Betts, and today we got my boy, before I say your name, five-time All-Star, four-time Silver Slugger, 2013 NL MVP. Man, 2000, that was a long time a ago. Long time ago. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, man, it's ancient. Woo! <laughs> and the... What I want to know about is this. A 2023 Pittsburgher of the Year. Ooh. What was that? What is that? Ooh. It's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? I, it's just, it's basically like um, they, they choose somebody every year at Pittsburgh. And it's essentially like what someone who makes a difference in the city, uh, you know, impactful. Like the whole nine, you think of the you think of the words. Is it like the it keys is. to the city? Essentially, without the keys, yeah. Okay, so what'd you get so, instead of keys? Uh, nothing. Nothing really. You don't just you, like you I, know. It's just like you don't have, have like, like a little get together, and then I, I spoke. You don't get like a, a a sheet like a sheet of paper. You know, a diploma yeah, right, type right, sheet of paper. You don't right. get nothing. We get. I, they gave me like um, I got like a plaque and. Oh, is it yeah. hanging up? No, it's not hanging out. Oh, not, not hanging. yet. Not yet. Okay, sorry, I a, Pittsburgh. I got a Home Depot that, so I can okay. do it myself. Okay, <laughs> All right. okay so <laughs> this isn't our first collab either, though. We have collabed on another show. Ooh. Puppy Dog Pals. Marcus Bestie <laughs> over here. You know, I... I uh, did you have fun doing that? I had, a, I had a blast. I think it was awesome. I had a blast doing that. And when... I really, they told me you were doing it, and I was like, well, if he's doing it, I'm going to do it. Because, <laughs> yeah. you know, especially being in ball, you know, there's not many times you get to collab and do things like this. You know, yeah. this is no, this is don't. super cool. You don't. I don't, I I, I mean, I had a good time. They they came in, I was like, all right, we're going to have you as a dog. They gave me the whole thing, and I was like, okay. I was like, I got to work on a voice, though. I need a voice for it. <laughs> yeah. And I came in, like, I guess I, I, I came in a little too scary. Like, <laughs> oh, my first really? My first voice. I was like talking like this. Like, like, <laughs> oh, I was like, no, nah, I don't. You, it's a it's a children's show, so can we make it a little more uh, light? Uh, okay. I was like, oh, okay, all right. So then, I, so and then I then I did that. And you was, was really trying to be in character. I was. Oh, nice. I was. But I really see, I was. appreciate that because you you was all in. <laughs> I had to be. Right. I had to. It's like if I'm gonna do it, this probably be the only chance I get. Do it, or this could be the beginning of something. Exactly. So I might as well try and like Go put on. on. So I, I did, feel that. Yeah. I feel that. Okay, so. We got a game that I play called on base and off base. Mm -hmm. All right, whether you're in or out. You you did you hoop growing up? Uh, I did. I I never never did in like high school. Did you do you watch basketball, NBA basketball at all? Yeah, some. Yeah. Do you know you know about the players? Yeah. You know about the back then players and and the current yeah. players. Okay, so the 2024 U.S. Men's Olympic Team. Yes. Could beat the dream team. Are you on base or off base on that? They definitely have the talent. But so I, you're I would on say base. I would say off though. So so why why are we off base on that? Off base because I feel like they can play. The hoop. dream team can hoop better collectively as a team, like they did, because they had they had superstars obviously, right. but there's way more superstars on on the 2024 team. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I mean. I almost got beat by Serbia. Yeah, and I they were a good. Yoke is cold though. They are cold. I, I can't. I, I'm not nothing. But against, that's not. That's not. The but point. they. I mean, you look at that team like, man, they should blow them out. Mm -hmm, you know. But mm -hmm. you gotta. You gotta learn how to. How can you? How can those guys, superstars? They all need the ball, right? So right. like, how can they touch the ball? You know. So I, I just feel like the dream team. They they hoop together. They hoop together. They, they found a way to. Yeah. And you know what? I think. I think. I I I agree with that, and I do think that if the 2024 team played a little longer together, they would eventually yeah. get to that point. But I think just basketball was different. Yeah. And I think, you yeah. know, the way the game was played then yeah. was more conducive to team right and ball. And the way the game is played now is a little more isolation. Yeah. A little more iso, iso right. ball. So I, I like that take. I like that take. Yeah. You, you know a little bit about hoops, all right? <sighs> Dab a little. <laughs> all, right. <laughs> all right. So what about this? PNC Park has the best view in baseball. Correct on base. Yeah. I, I, you know what? I, I may be 
I don't know if I'm all the way on, but it may, may be. It may be because there are yeah. some some PNC Park is always top five yeah. in the league, yeah. always. Right. But there's some some really dope skylines that uh, you know look good. But PNC mm. Park, I, I I don't know. I'm I'm in the middle, but you're on base as you should be on base as you should be. Okay. So what about this? And I didn't I didn't know what this was until I. Uh, was having you on the show so i okay. need you to explain okay what this next one is okay, okay? <clears throat> you're the best hitter in baseball when oh god anthrocon and anthrocon 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 yeah comes into town for a convention yeah i don't tell know. me about that, this that may be debunked because this last one they just had uh-huh I don't think I got a hit. Oh, you didn't? Oh, I you think didn't. I went like 0 for the series when they were here. Oh. But basically, it's like a furries convention. But what's a furries convention? Because you have crazy I, I, numbers when the furries are there. This is the Look first time. This is legitimately the first time. So every time the furries come in town, I tweet one word. Furries. Furries. And that's because I see them. They're all, they just, so what, they can just you, walk can around you, like you, normal people you, on the streets. Can you learn me what 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 furries are? I don't know. I don't know. I just know I just know people dress up, oh. put on a whole costume. It can be I don't want to botch names cuz I don't I don't want to upset don't, the people, no, but no like names. they they dress up fully like in a full outfit like and then they just they have a convention at the at the convention center in Pittsburgh and that's for a full weekend. What they do, I have no idea. I just see them on the streets. Have you you never asked? No. Cuz they're in character. So wait, so yeah. they're animals. Some are, yeah. So they can just, they can just dress up as whatever. I guess I don't I don't really know. You I don't know I don't know if talk, it's, you never I have, to talk to these people. I never all. have no. I've not yeah. even out of curiosity. Like okay, you know no. at this point I gotta know what to do. No, I got to know. No, I wanted to go. You what go? I wanted what I wanted to do what I've wanted to do over the years I've wanted to go. Okay. And give out tickets to the game. To the game, and I want them to come full dress character and just sit behind them visitors. But why out. hasn't this been done? I don't. I don't think. I don't think they let want to let them in 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 their in their their outfits. Oh, it doesn't. It doesn't. The dress code. Yeah, I think. Mm. But I wanted to put them all behind the visitors dugout. Okay. All the way up. Just. <laughs> okay. So so, they're in character and they're animals or whatever, and, yeah. and you haven't. Wow. And all I I see one. <laughs> Tweet it first. That's it. Furries. Boom. That's and it. And you know that they're there. I know that they're there. They're going to be there a full weekend by the power so of the first. You, I don't know. It's going now. It's I, going. I think I you know. should go. I think you should. And, and, and should, if you, when you go, yeah. what are you going to wear? That's a good question. I don't know. I've been thinking about that. If I were to wear something, what would it be? Yeah. What would it, what would it be? I have no idea. Suggestions. Okay. Need suggestions. In, the, in the chat, please put suggestions on uh, Kutch's Anthrocon. Anthrocon. Anthrocon, his outfit, please. Okay. <laughs> so, I do want to say this. You guys are good. You guys are, are fighting for a playoff spot, and it's, you got some really good pitching. Mm -hmm. And, you know, uh, speaking of pitching, I think this is a really cool stat. Mm -hmm. You have been for three different decades mm -hmm. of pitchers, dog. Garrett Cole. Steven Strasburg and Paul Paul Skeens, all their debuts. Look at that. Whew. But that, yeah. 2010, 2014. Are you still going? Bro. You know, you, the only difference I see there is is you you got I don't know if it's happy weight or just you know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You thick on the bottom dog. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Up there in 2010, you was hey. you was my side. Hey, yeah, I was I was a stream I was a stream being when I was coming up. But uh yeah, I don't know, man. It's I had no idea. I mean, I knew someone told me about that. I was like, oh yeah, I remember that. Well, I remember the Strasburg one because <laughs> he dominated. Like, yeah. You know, like he dominated. Yeah, this. I mean, this was before all like this was before Twitter, all that stuff. Like mm -hmm. there was none of that out. Like all we knew was Strasburg threw a hundred. Yeah, 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 they had us record. They some dude had a flip phone out and recording me and John. Like, <laughs> what you gonna do against That's Strasburg good. in your debut? I'm, I'm about to hit a bomb off this man. Like. <laughs> Lined out the short. I was like, oh, yeah, we finna get this fool. And then we hit a – it was Delwin, Delwin Young. Oh, yeah. Hit a two-run homer. 
on a change up. The guy didn't let a he didn't, no runner got on right after that. Oh, really? No runner. Nobody yeah. got on on base. It was one, I mean, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, like that for the rest of the game. I mean, punch fourteen, yeah, however many. Yeah. See, I was like, all right, yeah, nah, this man's the truth. He's nasty. Yeah. Okay, so I want to do take me to the, in two thousand thirteen. You won your MVP. Take me through that season. Like, how was that season? Was it just like ever? You were just hitting on. All cylinders, all season, or yeah. or, or how, how was it? I mean, you understand it. Uh, I I mean, 2013. I think honestly, it was for me. I mean, every every year's a grind, right? You know, right. like you grind through everything. Um, and on and I actually had a better year the year before. So in 2012, I had a better year offensively. Just in 13, the team was clicking. We were winning more. And then we made it to the playoffs. So I think that had a lot to do with it. Mm-hmm. Um, I still don't know how war works. I have no idea. Like, I just, like, oh, your war was, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, oh, okay. Got, I bet that was hanging out. Yeah. So with, with you know, defense, stealing bases, yeah, all that stuff. That. Like, so, I, I mean, so it was, it was like for me, uh, it was, it was like a good year, but I, I was just like, man, I had a better year last year. You know, yeah, I just kept I saying you. that to myself, like, my year was better last year. I, I had 10 more homers a year before that. You know, oh, like it was, yeah, you know, okay, so yeah, it was yeah. just, I felt like I mean, it's just how, that's how it is. Though. Yeah. It, it, sometimes it just, the stars it, got out. Right. It and just, it, it, it did. It happened. You know, it was, it was a good year though. I mean, it's a different game now. I mean, we're talking 11 years later, yeah. but. It's, we're going to get some, get, get into it some more, but yeah. I do want to, I do want to say this. You, uh. There are eight. There are eight active players that have three or more top three finishes. Top top three finishes in the MVP race, right? Me and you are one of them. Sorry about it. I mean, me and you are two of them. Do you know the other ones? Active. Active. You said eight. There's eight top. There's eight guys that have three or more top three MVP they were, they were on the show when they were announcing MVP that year there's eight guys me you Trout Shohei Freddie Freeman Freddie Free no he's not on there uh-uh. he's not on there nope wow mm-hmm. uh I'm going in my head right now I don't know that you're gonna get the the next three. You don't think I get the next three? Mm-mm. With top three, Goldie, Goldschmidt. Yep. Uh. Oh, it's four. That's gold. Yeah. So now you got three more. Goldschmidt's on there. Uh, I got to think of somebody that's kind of played a little bit. Yeah, there's three guys. I can help you out. Because you got to go to work him. today. Not him. No, no. I'm definitely missing somebody I know for a fact. I know you know it. all three of these for a fact. Well, I, yeah. <laughs> all three of these, you're going to be all like, right, need some help. make need sense, help. Need make help. sense, yeah. and make sense. Yeah, need some help. Need some all help. right, so one of them played with the Reds for a long time. Played with the Reds for yep. a long time? He, he, yep. Wow. Six. Okay. This guy came up with the A's. And now he's with the Rangers. No way. Came up with the A's, and now he's with the Rangers. No way. Marcus Simeon? Yep. Wow. I didn't know that one either. Yeah, I didn't know that. I didn't know that I wouldn't have got that one. And then this guy is probably, I would say, arguably top 10 in baseball every year he plays baseball. He's so good. He's a switch hitter. Switch hitter. Switch hitter. So you know a switch hitter that's in the top ten of baseball every year. Every year, there's one 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 little guy, and he oh yeah pack a mean punch. Oh oh yeah 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 yeah. You know yeah, whatever yeah. <laughs> however yeah, you want to say it. Yeah, shoot, what's his name? Jose Ramirez. Jose, that's it. Nasty. U L. We call him U L. Oh, uh, why y'all call him U L? Me and my boy Jay Hey, we used to call him or not not Josh Harrison. Yeah, we used to call him U L. Oh. Take this the wrong way. <laughs> we call him Ugly Lip. <laughs> they like, what that mean? <laughs> Man, I always got some down there in that lip. Uh, okay. <laughs> All right, so, <laughs> on that note, we're gonna get to the uh, the next segment. Please watch this video. Uh, thank you, Ab. Shout out, shout out to you. 
Hey y'all, I'm Abby, the producer of On Base, and we're going extra innings with Geico with a fun question for you. If you could add any Olympian to your MLB team, who would you add and why? Drop your answers in the chat and roll the clip. If you could add any Olympian to your MLB team, who would you add and why? LeBron James. LeBron James. It's hard not to say LeBron, I feel like. I mean, he's the GOAT. I feel like he'd be good at pretty much anything. He's just a freak athlete. Can you imagine him like in right field, like Aaron Judge, like gunning people out from home? Michael Phelps. Michael Phelps. He's the GOAT. He's tall, athletic, you know, and he trains like a beast. Michael Phelps, because he's OG. Oh. Oh, right, come on, <laughs> Simone Biles, are you kidding me? She's just such a good leader and such a great attitude, for sure. Simone, whenever we need someone who's going to go steal a base, put her in. Not only is she fast, but she could probably jump over the tag. She'll get the job done. Noah Lyles. Noah Lyles. Noah Lyles. Fastest man in the world. Because I feel like he's fun. Like, he would come out with a good song. I feel like he has good character for the game. TJ DeFalco. Shout out USA Men's Volleyball. I got to go D. Rose. Because he's fast. You got to put him in pinch, run pinch runner. Jesse Owens. Bring him back, man. Anthony Edwards. Center field. He's Center field. He's not letting the homer. He's Dog. Dog. No pop fly. It's over with. Ant Edwards. Okay, all right, so I want to uh, create a, a, a lineup for us. Like, You got to play in the WBC. Tell me about your experience in the WBC first. Yeah, WBC was awesome. So the first You won time, a gold medal too. Yeah, we did. So it's it's great because we went there. And I, it's kind of like everybody else. We kind of went under, under, under the impression. It's like, ah, oh, we like in the beginning of spring training. So okay. we're not going to. We're not going to do, like, go too crazy. Yeah. We're playing Columbia. Yeah. We're losing uh, late. And I'll never forget uh, Nolan Arenado. He's hitting. And it's late in the game. And he hits, like, a little nubber to third. And this man is busting it out of the box. Like, mm. full sprint. Head first dive. Safe. Everyone gets up and goes crazy. And i never forget being like, all right, this for real. Uh -huh. <laughs> this is uh -huh. for real. And yeah. then after that, it was it was like, like it was game seven every mm -hmm. single time, every single time. And that's we went out fun, there. man. That's yeah. fun baseball. Yeah, that WBC experience, man. That's fun. Yeah, so it's fun. Let's put together our own WBC team. Uh, it could be past, present. We don't know the future, right? So, who would be your uh, your starting catcher? Man, that is tough. That's a tough one. That's I mean, tough. I, I don't Catcher's know Catcher's tough. I feel like I'd want to switch. Here. I feel like I would go like Josh Gibson or something. You know what I'm saying? Josh Gibson, yeah, that, yeah, that's, I would give. I would go there. I would go there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because yeah. like he leads the world in everything. Yeah. Well, now yeah. I, that he's integrated, now right. they, they integrated like right. he's leading in everything. So okay, so what about first base? Man, you got that lip quivering over there, boy. You about to say something. What you about to say? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I guess we go what? Babe Ruth? Okay. You going Babe Ruth? You know what? I'm going Freddie Free. Because when teammate. Freddie's up to hit and there's a man on base, they're getting it. They're scoring. Yeah. I don't care true. how many outs there are. This is true. They're scoring. So I'm going Freddie Free. Freddie Free. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what about second base? Out of the hundreds of people to go second, this is so hard. This man is pre-recorded on his; he already got it written down. What he who he gonna pick? Now I gotta sit here and think about it. Okay, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Okay, I'm gonna go with my second baseman. Okay, Jackie Robinson. Okay, okay, that's who I would go with. You can't go wrong there. Can't go wrong with Jackie Robinson. What about uh? You can't go wrong. Oh, I get. Well, I guess. I was told Freddie Free plays for Canada. So True. I'd take him back. Okay. I'd take it back. True. I gotta find a new first base. We're going babe. I guess we're going babe. Second <laughs> base is Jesse. Third base. What about third base? Uh third base. Man, probably go probably go Cal, maybe Cal Ripken. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. I like that. Okay, so what about shortstop? I have so many beasts at Jeter. short. I was going to say Jeet. I was going to go Jeet. say You got to say yeah. Jeet. I was going to say Jeet. All right, so what about left? All right, so left. I don't even know who played left. I know. Bro. 
I know. You know but dang, because there's so many outfits. There's so, so many, many outfits. Can I just pick an outfielder? Yeah. All right. Let's, let's just go outfield. Yeah. Let's just go outfield. Outfield. I'll say trout. Okay. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> of course. Yeah. Okay. So we got Mikey. Yeah. I, I mean, I think we got to go like Willie Mays. Oof. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And uh, I mean, to be my right fielder, I might have to probably go Aaron Judge, dog. I say that. I was going to say Judge or, or, or Mr. Swingman himself. Or, oh, Griffey I Jr. forgot about Griffey for center. DH could be. No, I'm going Shohei for DH. But Shohei's sorry. Japan. Oh, gosh. I'm thinking just a regular team. Yeah, you're right. So Griffey in center. No. Aaron Judge is DH. Aaron Judge is DH. Yeah. Griffey in center. Yeah. Yeah, I like yeah. that. I think that's a good team. I think I think you know if if it was in the last twenty years, we may make the squad. Yeah, Nine, you know, I'd be there. We can't open it up that long. Section, you know <laughs> yeah, make the make I'd be a sub. <laughs> somebody go down. <laughs> all right, I so tell you. me tell me about Lil Cutch, man. Take me all the way back to when you were a kid. Yeah, where you from? How you grew up? Because I don't know this. Yeah, I, you know. Yeah, we we played ball together a long time, but I don't I don't yeah. know that, and I would like to know. Yeah, so I grew up in uh. Small town, middle of Florida, uh, Fort Meade, Florida, real, real little, four, 4,500 people, one working stoplight, mm. surrounded by cow pastures and phosphate mines. So there was nothing. Oh, that stink. Um, that, it does have a smell. Oof. Yeah, it does have a Wrong smell. You. Get that salt, Man, you know that what? When you came here bit. earlier, I smelled it. You did, didn't yeah. you? Yeah. That's right. It's in your skin. It is. Make sure you take yeah, a shower. Man. I know. I yeah. got to keep that. That's why I had, I had that cologne on. Oh, okay. 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 <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man, I grew up like that. Uh, yeah, parents had me very young. They had me in high school, 16, 17. Uh, yeah, so we... Obviously, didn't grow up with all the riches of the world. Uh, but you played ball. You found baseball. Made it early. work. Yeah, my my pops introduced me to to baseball at a young age. Um, he used to go. We used to go to railroad tracks, and then we get rocks. He get all the smooth rocks. He put them all in there, and then we go to the lake that we have at our in our in our in our town, and we just skip rocks. Mm. So like we would do that. We did that for all the time. Anytime we had a chance. Did they and teach then, you how to throw or something? Yes. Or okay, and then once he gave me a baseball, it was like, oh, yeah, it's like throwing this rock. So mm. then I just – I kind of did that, and that's how I was pretty much introduced to the game. And then this man would have – he would go get the the construction cones, and he would, like – he would steal ones. <laughs> and then we'd go, we'd go to, uh, to a baseball field, oh. have a net. And oh, that was your tee? Yeah, that was my oh, tee. Oh, okay, that's cool. A couple baseballs, there, a bat, and then that's how I, that's how I started hitting – Get all the get all the oranges off the trees that weren't all the way grown. We in Florida, so get all the all the green ones. Literally throwing them, hitting them. Like oh, you know, it's oh, just okay. like little stuff like that. And then it's and it just slowly, like built to yeah. where it is now. Because then you when you got to eighth grade, you you hit five hundred. Yeah, which, in high school, which I. I had nothing. I had. I knew nothing about average, you know, back then. So you were just playing. I was just playing, you know, going in playing, you know, get some dudes that was in high school. It was like, oh, this is a senior. Okay, cool. You know, I always played a, a grade. I always played up, you know, mm -hmm. growing, growing up. up. So yeah. um, to it me, was nothing to you, right? It was like, okay, like cool. I'll play, like no big deal. So I, I did that, yeah. And it's like, oh, you hit, you led the county and hit and fine. All right, cool. Like I don't know what that means. Okay, like you know, okay. so it's yeah. just so so like just not didn't understand, but that was the best way to be, honestly. What was your earliest memory of like going crazy? Like, what do you, do you remember? Like, man, this is yeah. I'm 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 actually really good. So and so when I was twelve, we uh we made it to the World Series, but it wasn't the Little yeah. League World Series. Oh, not the Little League World Series. No, we weren't eligible for the Little League World okay. Series because of my town and where we, where I was from. So. We had something called the Dixie Youth World Series. Okay, okay. Now I don't want to look up the history of what that means, but then it, it was in it was in Houston, ah Houston. I'm sorry, it was in Texas. It was in Terrell, Texas. Okay. Jamie Foxx is from there. That's all oh. I know. Okay. So <laughs> right. we went there. We played in a tournament. We didn't win, but what I remember is being in that whole tournament, making our way to the World Series. Just how I pitched, I was pitching, how I dominated, mm -hmm. and we we're playing against teams from all over and 
at that point, at that age, that's when I knew, like, dang, I'm actually, I'm actually pretty good. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, like, you don't know. You're playing against local kids yeah. in the beginning, and you're like, you feel like, oh, I'm supposed to be better than everybody. I know this dude. He lived right mm-hmm. down the street from me. <laughs> you know, so, but then, uh, yeah, then I we were playing all these teams, and hitting homers left and right, and striking out everybody. I was mm-hmm. like, yeah, I'm, I think I'm actually all right. I'm actually pretty good. So, at that age, yeah. And did, and did you, you hooped at that age? Uh, yeah, I, I hooped. I hooped at that age. I played football. Yep, football. Uh, ran track. Yep. So, um, what what did you run in track? I ran the hundred four by one, um, and I did the long jump. So, so what? What? But uh, so you saying Bolt runs like a, a nine two nine three or something like that? Whatever it is, yeah, something crazy. I think what, nine what would, five. Nine five. So what would you run? So not now, but like in your in yeah. Your- I so my sophomore year. So actually, because I, I don't we I stopped running. I stopped running after my sophomore year okay so my freshman year uh i was in state finals and i played second i ran a 10-6 oh so, wow is that i mean, fast? i don't know if that's, that's fast, fast, that is fast but it's okay. not i mean say like the the women's okay the women's uh uh-huh. that just ran uh-huh. i think uh-huh. the fastest time was like a 10 10 7 okay or something so, okay. like that okay. it was yeah, you know yeah. they, they moving they you know? flying so for you know a 14 year old you so know, in like, your in, when you were twenty three, yeah, what do you think you could have ran? I think I could have. I think I could have got probably you, in the low tens. Maybe it, if I kept, if I if I stuck with it, maybe I could have got in the nines. But uh, I don't know. I don't know. I think I if I would have stuck with it, I probably would have. I don't know if I would have been that elite in but speed, you're, you're but I, I probably could have been pretty fast. And tell me about this because as you're going to get drafted, you got a call from a coach. You got drafted eleventh overall to Pittsburgh. Yep. Tell me about that day before we get to the, the call. Yeah. Tell me about that that day. So it's way different than it is now. Obviously, like it was it used to be. You you would listen to it on on dial up, like on on mm. on the internet. AOL. AOL dial up. Like, you know, you you tie, you've got mail like that was that type of. <laughs> you so had you, a house phone. Yeah. They was calling a house phone. House phone. So like that's how it was. It, we all sitting around the house. We're listening to it on the on the internet. And that's how they did the draft. And it was like going one, two, three. Then you got the phone call from the Pirates. They said they love to sign you. Cool, hung up. Mm. They announced it, and then that was it. So like, it was it was a fun day. We enjoyed it. Did right? you have all the crew? Like yeah, family, had my family home? there. It was real small. I didn't want a lot of people there. Mm-hmm. So uh, I was like, had a, some close friends. I actually got a there's a picture like on the internet of me uh, of that day. Cause we had like a local newspaper in there. It's just me and them, me, me and one of my boys dapping each other up. And uh, I got on a Bo Jackson jersey. Oh, like, okay. like, you, know, <laughs> just, you know, just, just, you know, it was a good time though. But I, yeah, it was, it was fun. It, it was like it was close. It was close, close family. Enjoyed it quick. Then I went around in my '95 Dodge Dakota Sport, Ooh, driving, okay, listening to Mike Jones. Mm. Back then they didn't want me. Now I'm hot. They all on mm. me like. And you For y'all that don't know that, look that song up. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> okay. So, so you got the call. We got yeah. about, because this call was special. That lets you know what kind of athlete you are. Yeah. And it was oh, explain it, please. Yeah. Because it was a call from Miami. Yeah. So two days passed after I got drafted. Mind you, I hadn't played after my sophomore year of football. I stopped. I okay, playing. so you st- I, junior I, senior year only. Baseball. I did only baseball junior senior year. I I missed my sophomore year. I tore my ACL okay. playing football. Oh, okay. Um, and uh, so two years pass, I get a phone call from the the a head coach, uh, for our, for our high school football team. He calls me. He goes, "Hey, congratulations, um, Miami called. Uh, they want to give you an offer. They want to offer you." I'm like, "What?" Mm. Say, so, "Yeah, want to give you a full ride." play football and I sat there and I'm like I ain't played football in two years like and I I kind of I was kind of in shock and I, I was like uh nah man I'm getting drafted like, you know like, I was just like nah I'm getting drafted he's like okay okay <laughs> just I was just checking in I had I had to call and let you know it was like okay it didn't even like cross your mind like man I can go play a- I thought about it so really? I said I would be a two-way I would do two way athlete. I'd be a two way athlete. I play football and baseball if I didn't get drafted in the first okay, round. So okay, if okay. if I wouldn't have got drafted in the first round, I would have went. I would have went to college. I signed a letter of intent to the University of Florida at the time. 
So that was the plan. If I mm-hmm. got if I didn't get drafted the first round, I was just gonna go to college, probably and try and do both football and uh, baseball. So you got drafted, you go through the minors, and you I'm assuming you had to love going through the minors uh, in Pittsburgh, especially because it it didn't seem like a whole lot uh, was in front of you, blocking yeah. you, right? It was kind of yeah. like you just do your thing, and you got you're you're headed to the big leagues. Is that yeah. how, how was your time? Yeah, it was good. I mean, obviously they don't tell you the plans, right? They just wanted to see how you develop, and uh, yeah, I mean, I I enjoyed. I started off short. I started off in and. Uh, Gulf Ro- the Gulf Roast League, Gulf Coast League. So <laughs> hey, hot in Florida. Go. Yeah, you do go. <laughs> in the middle of summer. Like I'm telling you, I was your color like, <laughs> before I got before I, before I left there. Uh and then um but yeah, I did that and went to they don't have this anymore, but short season. Yeah. So I was in the New York Penn League yep. and I played there at Williamsport. Um mm-hmm. then Hickory, North Carolina. Couldn't get That's a, where I hit my first professional Hickory? home run. Wow. Hickory, wow. North Carolina. Hickory, North Carolina. Mm-hmm. I was there in Hickory, couldn't get a haircut for four months because I didn't, I couldn't find the proper barber in Hickory, North Carolina. <laughs> so, the hair was kind of growing a little bit. Is Finally, that how the dreads came into play? Exactly. Oh, because you couldn't find, couldn't a, find a barber? barber? Couldn't find a barber so for months. So, that became, and so. And I was, I was walking, I would go, I'm telling you guys, I would walk around the mall any time, any chance I got, I would walk around the mall just looking for somebody to ask. So, yeah, because that's, couldn't the, find, thing. Find that's the thing. Finding a barber, especially as like, no, this is not being racist. But as a black man trying to find a barber that you can trust <laughs> yeah. in Hickory, North Carolina. Yeah, yeah. I, I I'm a grow dress too. I could not find anybody. No, I ain't no telling what I look like. <laughs> but I finally found somebody at the mall. I said, "Excuse me, brother, <laughs> where do you get your haircut at?" Okay. And he gave me an address. He was like, "Yeah, you go over here." I was like, "Cool." Called the place. Went there. It was in the hood. I was like, "Oh, they got a hood around here." <laughs> so then I, and then I like I pulled in this little building and and I, I walked in and yeah, buddy was like. He's like, what you looking for? I was like, man, I just just give me a low, like low fade. And he was like, man, let me just line you up, man. Give you a nice little, you know, shoot, just grow the hair out a little bit more if you want. I'm like, he's like, you got it to this point. I'm like, all right. So uh, he just he just he just got me got me right. Didn't really cut anything. Just line me up, and then that's how it started. Like that's literally oh, how wow. I started to grow my dress. Okay. That's right cool. after that. That's so. Cr- so so and you just it became your identity. You kept yeah. them. Yeah. Yeah. So why'd you cut them? I so my whole thing was once I once I had kids, I didn't want to have dreadlocks just because I knew at some point I would cut them while they okay. were while they were here. So and I didn't want it to be like drastic. Like I, mm. I always I always worried about like you know my my child's like not even one, and I'm like I'm cutting them, and I could not come in. I see you see all them videos of yeah. me, you know the families and. The baby's like looking at the dad because yeah, he like cut his know. hair off yeah. or he cut his beard off and they started crying. I, yeah, I, I couldn't do it. So okay. I was like, I, w- I want to cut them before I have kids. So, so like, the, the dreads, the whole dreads thing was like a pure accident. Yeah, pure and pure, then, pure accident. Literally there, went to Altoona, find, found somebody who could like twist me up. They twist me up. They didn't look that great. And then <laughs> the off season came and I went back home. And then one of the, one of my, one of the ladies I, uh, went to church with she got me right so then that, that's kind of how it started and then I just went from there it's crazy wow 2006 something like that mm-hmm. is when I started. so like now are the what are these are these dre- like are these they, are dreads they're dre- they're yeah. just baby dreads yeah I call them the killmongers oh. from okay. <laughs> Black Panther okay Michael oh, B yeah. Jordan okay so Michael B Jordan had came out when, yeah. that, when Black Panther came out yeah. and he had this but yeah. his was like longer yeah I was like man that's kind of clean. And so you, I was like, I want to do that. So yeah, like, you got I it. did them, I did it in 2018. I, st- I started, and then I grew them out, and they got pretty long. And then 2020 came, everybody was going crazy. I was going crazy. I cut them off. Mm. So then I was like, all right. So I cut them, and then you had to fade like, re- for a little bit. And then- yeah, just recently I like kind of brought them back a little bit. So mm, nice. Yeah. Okay, so 
tell me about uh the the relationship you got you got you got traded from Pittsburgh yep. to uh San Fran, I want to say, right? Yeah. And you developed a relationship with Willie Mays. Yep. How was uh how was that? Cuz that's I mean, obviously the yeah. trade, uh, we all yeah. we know how that is. Right. That's part of the business, but it still sucks. Yeah. But how was the the relationship with Willie Mays cuz that's super yeah. dope. Yeah, Willie Mays was awesome, man. It was him and Willie McCovey. They were always they were both mm. be in the clubhouse any chance they got. Yeah, so see the little baby dreads right there. I was mm-hmm. trying to start them. the Killmongers. Yeah, the Killmongers. <laughs> so I uh so yeah, I I anytime any chance I had when when Willie Mays was around, I sat down next to him. I was like, "No, I got to be next to greatness." Y'all crazy if y'all don't want to sit next to this guy. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, so I would anytime I came in, they had this little room in San Francisco set up for him. And he would come in, and he would sit there, and you can hear that little squeaky voice in the background, like, talking. You knew he was there. And I would go in there. He couldn't see very well. But uh, he would shake my hand every time. And every time he shake my hand, he would squeeze it real hard. Shake my hand like this, man. Like, and it was just dude, like, I was like, all right. I got to shake his hand. He's like, yeah, you got to shake it strong. I was like, okay, got you. And, uh, yeah, he would uh, – he would, I would shake his hand, shake it. We talk. He, he knew me as Pittsburgh. That was my name. Oh, okay. Yeah. He was like, he always called me Pittsburgh. And, uh, yeah, he was great, man. He, he knew he, 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 he was still, he was still sharp up yeah. here, man. Like he, he would listen to the games on the radio. Okay. Okay. And one time we left for a 10 game on the road. We came back and I saw him. He's like, Pittsburgh. He's like, you, you left here with 10 home runs, 10 games pass. You come back. Still got ten home runs. I was <laughs> like, dang, Willis yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, like he he, he 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 hold you accountable though. Like yeah, you know, he was like that was cool though. I, I enjoyed my time with him and Willie McCovey yeah, yeah. and Barry Bonds. Okay, like of course. they would all all them in one room. It's greatness. Great. Yeah, that is great. It's greatness that's for real greatness. Oh my gosh, that's greatness. <laughs> okay, so I want to ask you this. Switch switch gears a little bit. You have. And we have something in common. We have children named after us and not our kids. <laughs> there is a uh, a baby Mookie. I don't know if there was a – you may not know the story. But anyways, this guy – I was on deck, and this guy says, Mook, if you hit a home run, I will name my baby after you. Yeah. And I hit a home run. It was crazy. Yeah. And so I have a baby named after me. Their middle name or whatever, super cool. I haven't gotten to meet the meet the baby girl yet, but I, I, I she just needs to get a couple years yeah older so we can really kind of interact because right. right now I can't really right. interact or whatnot right. And so, uh, but you you know you have a baby named after you. I do, yeah. Okay, so like, tell, how did that come about? I have no idea. I just oh you don't okay. Nice I so story. like I, I just I was, I was on Twitter and the dude was like, hey, we we named our kid after you, mm-hmm. Kutch, and I was like, man, that's dope. <laughs> Did you meet him? Have I haven't. Him? I haven't met him yet. Obviously, it was recently. So, yeah. uh, but I just like I got to meet him now. Like you know, I've, I've never, never thought that someone would name their child after him. not it just not Andrew, but Kutch. Like you know, yeah, like yeah, yeah. you know, nickname. most people are like hey, I named my dog after you. Name him Kutch. I was like, oh, okay, yeah. cool. Like you know, but the name of actual human being, like Kutch. your own yeah. son, like Kutch. Yeah. It's 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 amazing, man. I was I was like. I was I was like drawn back from that. that was I definitely cool. think that's worth if you if you're willing to take tickets to the furries. <laughs> I do think you should take t- tickets to little to little Kutch. Oh yeah, definitely. So oh yeah, that, okay. we're definitely gonna make that happen. Okay, I just I, I just want to make sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was I was like your wife was cool with that. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, I guess. I was like that's cool. what I thought about. You know, it was like fine you know like you know yeah. I was like, all right cool like yeah we gotta meet a little guy though <laughs> i want to uh i want to tap in with, with one of your hidden talents real quick i know uh you enjoy music like music a lot and uh you're a singer Ooh. and yep. you like to sing in the outfield i do when you're out there by yourself <laughs> And I get it because when you're out there, dude, it's just you and a bunch of grass, dog. A bunch of grass and and, and, and he- back there, <laughs> yeah. And so if you're not to tune out the heckler, sometimes you got to sing. Sometimes you have to. Tell me your top, the top three songs you enjoy singing the most. Top three that you'll go to. You know what? I'm over three today. Or I'm three for three today. Yeah, right. This is the three, song I'm singing. Three for oof. And they the could fir- be the, fir- the first, the first, 
like my first and foremost probably have to be some type of John Legend. I don't know what John, John Legend. John Legend is going to come out. Like I don't know what song. It could be Ordinary People. It could be Save Room. It could be. It's going to be some John Legend. I know, like. Uh, so you just, we're just ordinary people. You know how you got to. How you look off into the. You don't know if anybody ever seen the Jamie Foxx do the. Ja, Jamie Foxx do the John Legend, bro. It's hilarious. <laughs> okay. I've got to look it up. Uh, it is hilarious. You know, he's, he's, so, he's so you talented. One more time? You just huh? Can you do the look one more time, yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. So John, I wish I could play the piano, man. Oh, uh, teach you, dog. Yeah. So John Legend has to John be number Legend. one. Okay. So what's 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 um number two? It's a good question. Uh so for me, mm. anything Chris Brown for me. Yeah. He can cover all spectrums. So if I'm happy, he's got happy songs yep. if i'm sad he's got sad songs yep. and i really gotta be happy or sad to know which songs <laughs> i'm gonna sing because off the top of my head i can't think of it but if i'm out there and i'm over three now if i'm over three with a couple of line drives that's a different song <laughs> right. than a couple than over three with three punches because that's a different song you know what i'm saying you wanna y'all win the game deuces you're yeah, saying, right? you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah so okay it covers okay. all the spectrums okay for me, you know what i'm saying okay. that's so uh yeah uh Chris that, Brown's a good one. Chris Brown Chris, Chris Brown's, Brown's a, good a good one. And then you know what when I uh when it's like a big game, yeah. a big game, I'm out there bumping Jeezy yeah. in my head. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So he 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 covers some spectrums for me yeah. too. And that's yeah. when I got to try and be hard. I'm not a hard guy. Like yeah. I'm I'm a lover not a fighter. Right. But when I got to act like I'm hard, right. Jeezy come out. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, yeah, I'm a Ti dude. Ti, yeah, I'm a Ti yeah, guy. Ti, yeah. Ti tip. So that's what me and my boys really grew up on. Okay, uh, okay. we really we listened to a lot of Ti. So yeah, it'll probably be Ti. Ti, Ti and John. Ti and John. Ti and John Legend. That's 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 Ti John Legend. That's depending on if I'm hype and in that situation. Uh-huh. And uh, or yeah, I don't know, man. Okay, so if 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 there was a fan out there, yeah, that wanted to have a. a a sing off, yeah, or sing with you during the game, yeah, while the pitches are going on, because we can sing out there and catch the ball. Yeah, you could. Would you? Would you be open to doing that? Depends on what the song is, and depends okay. on what mood I'm in. But yeah, I do it. So I think that would be really cool, man. Some great content, you know. If Kutch leads off the game with a homer, he may be. Able to sing that day. Yeah, just do it. Just do it. With do somebody. it with someone. I think that would be really cool for you, man. Because yeah. you know you, <clears throat> you 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 uh, esophagus can sing real good. Though. You yeah, know his what vocal mean? cords. The vocal cords. Well, it'd be see y'all get a lot of superstars out in L.A. It'd be really cool if somebody that was an artist be out there that you just hit them with some one of their like hit them with a song. Hit you with it. I can't sing. Either, either way, just hit them with a song. And just they just pick it up. Uh, yeah, that would be uh, yeah kinda, you know what? That would, if that there's be... an artist coming to the game within the next three days, Kutch is duetting. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Hit Thank you, hit that. you with whatever that it is. You don't want to hit me back with it. <laughs> All right, <laughs> All right cause so we only got a couple more minutes, man. I want to. Uh, I got a couple fan questions that I want to ask. You okay. Before I know you got to go to work today. I'm going to watch. So first, um, you played for the Yankees. How do you think that Jazz Chisholm fits with the Yankees? Because that, for and, and I want to give you a little time to think about that. Yeah. You know, Jazz being in Miami where he was the man, really, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. And Jazz is a very good baseball player, mm-hmm. very talented. Mm-hmm. And going to the Yankees organization, from my perspective, is like they got Judge there. They got Stanton there. They got... I mean, DJ LeMayhew, mm, Garrett Cole, Garrett Cole. They got guys that are established with very successful big league careers. Mm-hmm. And Jazz is young mm-hmm. still. And so he can't go and be the same way. Mm-hmm. And and it's the Yankees. Like right. there's a, a aura about right. the Yankees. You right. know what I'm saying? That you really. So how do you think that I, I, I ain't going to say I ain't going to. Let me finish. I, I think that it's going to be good for him mm-hmm. because he'll tone down a little bit of mm-hmm. himself and i think that's part that he tones down a little bit of the flashy 
will go into his game. Mm-hmm. And I think his game will elevate. Mm-hmm. That makes sense? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? What do you yeah. think? I think it's his dynamic is and, and, and the person that he is on the field. Um, he his, it, all Everything that he does, like, speaks for itself and then mm-hmm. it's like his game it, it speaks as well i do think as what you're saying is what he does i think it'll flip it'll be more what he does on the field exactly. and then all that stuff will come with it mm-hmm. it's not the other way around right so uh, but i i don't think he needs to change who no. he is it's who mm-hmm. he is right like that's and it may be a little different for the Yankees in that organization and the in the history of it, but it's 2024, mm-hmm. you know. So like, you, know, you already have you have a Marcus Stroman there. Yep. You know, you have you know you know he he's he's who he is. Mm-hmm. You know, he's going untucked jersey. You know, do rag under the hat. You know, so, like so it, it's if you would have thought like someone like that would be there ten years ago, you know, people would be like, no. yeah, we're, no, no, that's not going to happen. But it's different. It's a different yeah. game. And people need to have personality on the field, you know. And you, you know, I get the the uniform is who we are, not not the you know, not the name on the back. That's why mm-hmm. we don't have names on the back. I get that you were there in Boston, you had that too. Like, but at the same time, like, people need to be themselves out there at the same time. And so I, I just, you know, I I think it's good for him. You know, he's already been able to showcase what he can do, and you know, it's good for that organization. I think some, not saying. I don't know Miami. I just know New York because through the minors, I've seen the organization. I know a ton of people there. I think the structure that the Yankees have within the organization, whether it be just simple stuff like you can't have anything under the lip, mm-hmm. right? All that has to be shaved off. Just Or maybe you have to wear your pants up because you remember rules like that yeah. in the organizations. I think those rules in themselves will help govern what little uh, extra – Yeah that he may yeah. be able to do with Miami. You right. know, that makes sense. And so I think in that, he's going to want to get that out of him, and it's going to go directly into him playing ball. So I, I don't know. I think yeah. it's going to be a really I good thing. I went there, and me. I had a nose ring, and they came up to me like a day later. Hey, what's the deal with the piercing? I'm yeah. like, I don't know nothing. <laughs> Can you take that out? It's like, okay. Uh, <laughs> so they, like, really, they told you to take it out just because. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Right when I got there, I was like, oh, and then it was like, oh, well, you know, CC, you know, he wears the earrings and we told him not to. Oh, uh, yeah. And I was I mean, like, look, I'm, it's not a big deal. Okay. Yeah, you know, yeah. like, but it was just like even simple stuff like that. Yeah. You know, it, make, it makes you go like, huh. It doesn't matter. But I mean, structure yeah. is also, also yeah. pretty yeah. cool, too. So uh, I do have another question. What's your favorite road ballpark to play in? I probably still think it's Denver. Oh, really? Yeah. Denver. It's always it's been Denver pretty much my whole career. Why? I think it's still Denver. The ball flies there. Oh, okay. It's, it, oh, you know, it always flies there. Like every time I go there, it's like I'm leaving with at least one. You okay. know, like every okay. time I go there. Yeah, yeah. So I play well when I'm there. When I when I played center, I always used to love playing center because there was so much room yeah, to yeah. roam mm-hmm. out there, and you can just run, you know, f- forever to catch the ball. You don't have to worry about a wall. Um. So and then just yeah, just the. The statics of the ballpark yeah, is it's, 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 it's unbelievable. Ball, yeah. It's really nice out there. I, I, I like Denver. Okay, so last question. If we could start a boy band, who would it be with? Who would it be with? Like, is it anybody? Or is this baseball players? It's baseball players. Baseball players. And there's... Let's let's go. How many how many people qualifies as a boy band? I don't know. Five, four, five. Let's go. Five. Okay, let's go five. So I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sing sing all the way in the background. You know what? I'm gonna do be the the low. I'm, okay. I'm not even the low. I'm the mid. Yeah. You know, because I can't get low, and my voice doesn't get high. So, <laughs> mid. I'm the mid. All right. Okay. You got to find the rest of them. So I'm multi. You know. I, I think we need to be a multicultural band because uh-huh. we got a lot of different bands out there. They okay. all speak the same language. Okay. I don't know. Uh, uh, you know. I, so I would mix it up. I think uh, Jose Iglesias. Okay. All right. I like it. He uh, he can. Uh, and he can really dance too. Yeah. I, I play when I'm in the minor leagues, and he's yeah. a, a great dancer. So, uh. That's one. Thanks, Shohei. Shohei. Okay. Got You know, he's, oh, he's gonna there. look great. Yeah. He's got the hair, yeah. you know, he's got everything. Yeah, you got to have that. You he's going to have the whole 
Japan. Japan yeah. is going to be at every concert. Every single concert. You know concert, what I'm saying? Yeah. So. Yeah, we hit the masters with that one. Mm-hmm. So that's one. Uh, yeah, one more. That's another one, and uh, one more. My, I think my teammate, G1 Bay. Uh, Bay. It's a handsome man. Okay. And uh, you know the whole K-pop area over there is great too. So yeah, I, you just just hit it all, man. You know I think we'll be good. No, okay, can, that's our boy band. Yeah, I think that's a, for me. That's a boy band. Uh, okay, I, I like it. So we got. All right. I mean, uh, that's that's what you, you, you definitely made it multicultural. Exactly. And, I mean, and we all speak in different languages. Man, everybody, you know, you know we so. all speak in different languages. Well, Kutch, man, <clears throat> thanks for coming on the show, brother. It's always uh, good to see you. I'm glad we finally got to really catch up because we cross paths, but it's usually on a baseball field. And yeah. We don't, don't get a lot of time to get right. to talk, and so it's really good to uh, to get to meet you, get to finally get to know you, um, get yeah. to know greatness. You know, yeah. uh, what do you think about you? You think your jersey? You, you want to get that retired, dog? 22. I, I mean, I think I, it deserves it. I mean, I think it deserves we'll, it. What we'll see done, you. Yeah. Your body of work, especially, hey, what you, bro, you won 2023 Pittsburgh of the year, dog. You know what I'm saying? Like, I they got to put your it's jersey a big deal. You it's know? a big deal. That's a I big will, deal. We'll see. We'll see what they do. We'll see what they do with that. All but, right. but and, and this is not yeah. your last year. You know, you, no. you, still, got, you still got, no, you still got some more, some more stuff. You yeah. got to keep building your resume. You're already a Hall of Famer, dog. So we got to keep building the resume. Got to stack and uh, and doing what you got to yeah. do. Dog. Yeah, gonna keep going. We're gonna keep going. And yeah. it's good to, to have a, have another brother. You know, having a very successful career. Believe it, man. Uh, got to get so. you back on the field, man. I know. I'll be back in a couple of days. I like that. I'll be back in a couple of days. I'm I'm hitting, doing what I got to do. So uh, nice. We'll be back, get it popping. So, nice. anyways, Cutch, thank you again, and we will catch you next time on On Base. Yeah.